everybody and in today's video we're going to talk about the past simple tense. And if you haven't met me before, my name is English teacher Matthew and I'm here to help you improve your English. And like I said, in today's video we're going to talk about the past simple tense. So when do we use the past simple tense? We use the past simple tense when we want to talk about something that happened before now that started before now and finished before now. We also use it to talk about um, something that happened at a specific point in time. When I say a specific point in time, I mean we use a word such as yesterday, last week, last weekend, last Monday to talk about when the action actually happened. And also we can use the past simple tense to talk about um, repeated actions that happened in the past as well. And when we want to use this, when we want to talk about the repeated actions, we usually use a frequency adverb to say how often this was done in the past. So how do we make past simple tense? We make past simple tense by changing the verb, by conjugating the verb. We use this word conjugate when we want to say the verb needs to be changed. So when we use the past simple tense, we basically add ed to the end of verbs. So for example, work becomes worked, start becomes started, and finish becomes finished. Now, just be careful actually, because um, although all of them end in ed, the pronunciation is a little bit different. Maybe you've noticed that. So work becomes work t. It has like a t sound. And start becomes started. And that has an id sound. Started. So just be careful about that. Um, I do have um, another video about that actually, which you can find on my channel. However, there are some verbs that we call irregular verbs. Now, irregular verbs do not add ed on the end. They conjugate in a different way. But I'm afraid that there is no pattern, there is no rule for the conjugation, so you basically have to learn them, um, which, is, which is very sad. However, if you go onto Google, you can actually search for irregular verbs and how they conjugate in the past tense. So when you learn a new verb, it's very important that you learn whether it's a regular verb or an irregular verb because they conjugate in a, in a different way if it's uh, irregular. However, what is very good about English is that no matter what pronoun you use, whether it's I, you, we, he or she, the past tense is always the same. So it's always I worked, you worked, she worked. I know in a number of other languages, it conjugates uh, differently with every single uh, pronoun. Okay, so let's do a little quiz and uh, look at some examples. So I can say, I usually go to work. This is present simple. How can I use it in past simple with yesterday? Yes, that's right. I went to work yesterday. Now, I can say, I usually eat junk food. This is the present tense. How can I uh, talk about this in the past using the past simple with last weekend? Yes, that's right. I ate junk food last weekend. And last one, I usually bring a pen to the class. How can we uh, use this sentence in the simple past tense with the word last Friday? <laughs> yes, and that's excellent, well done. It's I brought a pen to class last Friday. Now, of course, sometimes something doesn't happen. And when we want to talk about uh, this in the past, when we want to say a negative sentence in the past, we use the word didn't and we 
just add the uh, present tense verb after. So, I went to work would be, I didn't go to work. I ate junk food would be, I didn't eat junk food. And I brought a pen would be, I didn't bring a pen. And the same goes with questions. We use did um, in past tense questions. So we would say, um, did you go to work yesterday? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Um, what did you eat yesterday? I ate junk food. And uh, maybe I can also say, uh, did you bring a pen to class? Of course I did. I always bring a pen to class. Did you bring a pen to class today? Uh, make sure you re-watch this video again and uh, if you need to, make some notes. Another good way to practice using the past simple tense is by typing a comment in the comments below. I'll take a look at them later. Also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you have any other questions, you can put them in uh, to the comments box below too. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, keep practicing.